The fight will go on. That's what LGBTQ plus advocates say after both houses of the Ohio legislature pass a bill impacting transgender children and young people. Thanks for staying with us tonight at 530. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. That bill now heads to Governor Mike DeWine to sign or veto. He hasn't said whether he'll sign it. 10 TV political reporter Doug Petcash is live at the state house with what advocates are doing and what could come next. Doug. Andrew and Yolanda, advocates tell me they and their supporters are calling the governor's office, urging him to veto the bill. Beyond that, they say they're keeping their options open, including going to court if necessary. And it's very clear that uh, lawmakers simply ignored the voices of hundreds, hundreds of Ohioans by passing this legislation. LGBTQ advocates say they are disappointed both chambers of the Republican controlled Ohio legislature passed House Bill 68. The bill is called the SAFE Act or Save Adolescents from Experimentation Act. It would make it illegal for health care professionals to provide gender affirming care to transgender children. That includes performing gender reassignment surgery and prescribing cross sex hormones or puberty blocking drugs to a minor. Also part of the measure, the Save Women's Sports Act would prohibit transgender athletes from competing in girls and women's school sports. The advocates say they are rallying their supporters. Right now we're pushing for folks to contact Governor DeWine and ask him not to sign this bill. More than 20 states have similar laws. Most face lawsuits. University of Cincinnati political science professor David Niven says if Governor DeWine signs the bill into law, it could be challenged in federal court on the grounds of due process and equal protection and in state courts under provisions of the state constitution. But every state is different. We really can't take much of a lesson from what's happened in other states other than to say there will be a battle and that outcome could range from this law being entirely overthrown to you know this law being sustained. Advocates say they are willing to keep fighting if the bill becomes law, even if that means going to court. We're willing to look at all options and uh, we are willing to do whatever it takes to protect LGBTQ Ohioans and trans and non-binary Ohio youth. We know that it's not just a small group of people fighting against this. And so knowing that we've got people out there that we get to partner with and stand with, I think is important for our young people to know. Governor DeWine has 10 days to act on House Bill 68 once he physically receives it. His spokesman tells me that he could get the bill sometime next week, so 10 days after that point. Live outside the State House, Doug Petcash, 10TV News.